um, I'm just going to put my face on. It's a beautiful day. Gorgeous, gorgeous day. We're in June now. And yeah, I'm just going to throw lots of makeup at my face. I've also got quite a few new summery bits as well. Um, some things I desperately want to use, but then I also want to photograph. Um, so I'm torn about whether to use them or not. Um, skin situation, a lot, lot better. I used a new glycolic product last night and it was pretty amazing. But I will tell you more about it at a later date because you know I like to use skincare for quite some time. So some new bits, um, one of them is the Too Faced Sun Bunny palette which I love dual toned bronzers and I love Too Faced so I have that. I also have the beautiful, I find this really relaxing, it's Lila B, it's quite heavy, it's like a pebble, but it's so cool and to me it would be really handy to have, you know you use the jade rollers and everything, but if you're really warm, oh, and that is just instantly cooling, I know it's quite bizarre, but it is a bronzer, a dual bronzer, I do think they missed an opportunity to put a mirror there to be honest just a little slim line mirror but the packaging is divine absolutely divine um but i love oh it's just so cool i would take this out of my makeup bag and just press it to my forehead i really don't care what people think you know if they're so busy watching you they must have a very sad life that's how i look at it right so there's some new bits i also have a couple of amazing summer palettes um They've just hit the floor running as far as I'm concerned. The first one is um, Laura Geller. I've used her products for a long time. Um, when they were only sold by QVC, I remember getting Laura Geller products. This is the Southampton Classic and it has a mirror in the lid and you've got bronzer, blusher and eyeshadows. Yes, that's quite a, an unusual colour. It isn't one I would jump for when I worked for Yves Saint Laurent in the summer they generally always had some sort of aqua blue um in their range and I was thinking oh here we go again because I much preferred the winter look but I really really love it's such a good summery palette brilliant I think it's one of the best I've seen from Laura Geller I have this which got such a big response on Instagram when I showed it I've never had anything like it before it is absolutely glorious. It's part of the Marc Jacobs, their coconut range. And this is called Iconic Marc Jacobs. It has a specific name. There we go, 790 Fantasine. This is the eye palette. I love it, absolutely love it. And it's got Marc Jacobs embossed. It's got a little click. Oh, it's like a shell. It's just so beautiful. Mirror in the lid and then you have these amazing shades. Oh, glorious. There is Flesh Covets, Fantasy, She Said, Meet You For More on the Dance Floor. Isn't that just divine? Razor Shell, that's what it's like, a razor shell. I don't think I've ever seen anything as pretty. You know I love my eye palettes but I think that wins in the presentation. So I have a couple of summer palettes as well that I really need to break into. I just, once I've started them I think, oh, oh no. Right, so moisturised SPF 40 on the face because I use glycolic, AHA, BHAs, anything like that, retinol, please use your SPF. Um, somebody asked me, was it Twitter? Instagram. Somebody asked, they keep seeing me sort of reaching for things. I do have um, an old sort of toweling cloth that I wipe my hands on because I really hate lots of makeup on my hands. Just a quirk of mine. I think it's from being on counter and keeping your hands clean when you're working on a client, you know, doing a consultation. So I always like to have something just to wipe my fingers off. I really don't know how people go applying and applying products and, uh, oh no, I just, it's one of my quirks. I don't like to feel lots and lots of product on my hands. So I have all those and we're just going to do a sort of summary look. I've no plans for today, but I just thought I'd put some makeup on. I have the La Roche-Posay um, Psychoplast, Cicoplast, um lip balm to pop on. I just put a little bit on because I'm going to use a lip pencil today and it just leaves my lips feeling nice. 
Um, I'm using two base products. I have my Hourglass Illusion. I have light beige, which I find quite dark. I featured this last year. A lot of people are interested in it. It is expensive. Hourglass is expensive. It is an Italian made makeup product, makeup products, and Italian makeup products are fabulous. Um, really, really high quality. They're some of the best, if not the best, out there. Lila B's Italian made as well. Um, and I think it's worth paying. I love it. I really do. It's a hyaluronic skin tint and it does have an SPF of 15. I'm also mixing it with Lancome Skin Feels Good. My friend sent me this because it was too dark for her. It's 04C sand. It's actually too dark for me, but I mix a pump with this and it just kind of gives me a nice glow. And you can get away with being a little bit bronzier and darker in the warmer months because the light's so different. So the tones are all different. Um, so I don't mind having a slightly darker one. And you know I like to mix a new Saint Laurent, which is darker than normal. But yes, I do find this 04C sand far too dark. Um, apparently she'd bought three or four over time and still can't find the right match yet she likes the product and I do as well so it's quite frustrating when you just can't get that shade spot on. All to do with tones. Right so that's that, that's that. Let's begin. I have a um, angled airbrush from Nanshai and I'm just going to put a pump of the Lancome sand and you will see it is, yeah, it's dark. Oh, my nan is shedding. <gasps> oh no. So I'm gonna have a little bit of the illusion, which is a pinky tone, light beige, pinky tone. There you go. And I'm just gonna pop that around. Shade. And then I'm gonna add the sand over the top and then I'm going to push and blend that into my face. So, how are we all? Um, I know so many of you absolutely love these chatty videos, so thank you for always coming back to me and telling me how much you love them. Um, I am conscious sometimes that they are quite long and I do try and edit them down, but I get so much so many messages that these are what you like and for some bizarre reason Craig is flummoxed about this. I keep getting comments from different people about how relaxing <laughs> you find my voice um, and he's flummoxed about it. <laughs> he obviously doesn't concur with your findings. Um, but thank you to those of you that have said that, you know, you would listen to me talk about anything. It must be the northernness. I think it's the Yorkshire accent. I feel the same about Alan Bennett. I've said this before. I could listen to Alan Bennett, another Yorkshire folk. Um, I think it must be the tone, maybe. Somebody will tell me, I'm sure. The only person that we struggle with is Sean Bean. No disrespect you know he's a very respected and popular actor but whenever we see Sean Bean in anything he's a bit like Sean Connery he doesn't alter his accent or Michael Caine he keeps his Yorkshire accent so when it's something you know Spanish Inquisition or something Roman or something like that French and it's all very serious and then Sean Bean comes on and goes oh bye heck I don't know what's going on here and we find it hilarious. We can't watch anything with him in because the minute he opens his mouth, that's it. Um, so maybe it is the Yorkshire, Yorkshireness, because he earns quite a lot of money, doesn't he? From, uh, <laughs> from being an actor and being Northern. So that must be, must be what it is. So that's the base on. I really love, I can see what my friend's talking about. This is absolutely beautiful um, and I, I kind of feel, I do want to see if I can get something in a similar shade because I've been so impressed with its blendability. It's almost not matte but it gives a really flawless filtered finish. Um, I did try it on its own when I first got it and obviously it was too dark but the finish really was beautiful um, and I just decided to mix 
my product. My friend goes out to work early and everything else, so she hasn't time to faff um, with things. But I really am impressed with the Skin Feels Good. And this is a hydrating skin tint with an SPF of 23. So I may try and find a colour to match, but I know from her it's a struggle. And this is ever is beautiful on its own, all mixed. And I have light beige again. Um, another brand where it's quite difficult sometimes to really colour match um, your products. It's really, really difficult. Um, light beige to me would normally be too light, but in this case it's quite a dark shade. Right. Um, I have been madly non-stop using Glossier Stretch Concealer in Medium. Obsessed with it. I love it. It's worked beautifully on my skin. When I had issues with my skin, I could use it as a foundation, basically. And it gives a glow, but it coverage as well. Um, having spoken to another lovely lady about brands and their demographics and age groups that they aim for, which you know I don't take any damn notice of whatsoever. Um, Glossier, a lot of people have said, is that not for young folk? No, it's not. I find it very flattering for my older skin. Um, it doesn't sit in the lines, it doesn't accentuate anything. Everything I've had is beautiful. The eye products, the mascara, the blushes, the concealer, the skin tint, everything. So please don't be put off if you read, oh, it's aimed at 20 year olds. You use it. Who cares? Um, and we had a conversation about IT cosmetics and they were just sort of, focusing on 20 year olds yet they often put their products out for anti-aging so people presume it's for older um, people and it's very complicated because brands I've said it before youth sells I know it's not a popular concept but that's how it's always been youth sells and brands tend to go for the bigger bloggers with lots of followers who are in their 20s they can't help being in their 20s and some of them are magnificent but it's frustrating when maybe a product's aimed at somebody older and they're using somebody in their 20s it does seem a bit daft but anyway back to my point Do, take no notice of the demographic for me glossier is fabulous so a lot of you mentioned it when i was using it and after having the discussion about it cosmetics as well just Go for what you want. I wear things that probably I shouldn't, but you know, you're a long time dead. Simple as that. Right, so that's what I've been using a lot of. That was my point. However, Alana, a Canadian blogger, vlogger, Alana Davison, Davidson, Davison. Um, I love her. I'm old enough to be a mother. I'm old enough to be a lot of people's mothers. But um, I just... I love her personality. I find her very genuine, which for me is a big thing. And a lot of her makeup, I just love the way she uses it. She works with it. She obviously used to work for Mac, so she has a background and that shows. And she was going on about um, loving the stretch concealer, but sometimes it was too wet for her. Now, I don't have a problem with that. But she mentioned RMS. Now, I love their Luminizer. It's one of the best. But they have the Uncover Up concealers and um, I decided to give it a whirl because I'd seen her mention it and I've not used it yet I've got shade 22 I spent a while looking at swatches um, on the computer oh that is nice now that yes yes I see what she's you see that to me okay yes Okay, that to me is pretty much the same consistency as the Stretch Concealer. It probably has just a little bit more grip to it on the initial application, but very, very similar. Feels lovely. Nice pigment in this as well. So maybe the pigment is just a little bit stronger than stretch with stretch you do sort of have to build it up but I quite I like the natural feel of that but do remember obviously my skin um, is different to hers and how things sit on your face and everything depends on the products you've already applied what you've used previously and also it's a very warm day and my hands are very very warm so it's sort of melting the product hot hands not great for making pastry with I do like that. I really do like that. I can see how lovely the consistency is. That's very nice. And I do like their packaging. The tin lid and then the little opaque glass. 
yes that's that's a good a good call so yeah i like i like that there we go right rms so another option to glossier if you find it easy to get rms products okay i like that right so i'm not going to break into my new bronzers yet because i want to photograph them but i am going to use this fabulous uh, bronzer from Too Faced which is Sweetie Pie and I've used it quite a lot and I love when they have pink in and I can only use the powder brush from the Vintage Cosmetic Company it's just the best thing for putting bronzer on swirl it, tap it, whack it on right into the hairline round into a sort of a C shape and I do my eye as well this is what I miss about the winter, being able to just slap a lot of bronzer on. My muslin cloths and toweling cloths when I'm cleansing on an evening are just a fabulous shade of bronzer. You can imagine washing them is a joy, but I love that sweetie. But I just think Too Faced just get better and better. They really, really do. Eye palettes, blushes, and they are cruelty free as well. You could just put some mascara on and you're done. It's as simple as that. Right, what am I going to do next? I'm waffling today. All right. Jibber jabber, as Craig calls it. Right, eyes. Um, what? Oh, gosh, I want to use the Marc Jacobs palette, but... Oh, let's do it. What the heck? How can you not? I mean, look at it. I've no idea what I'm going to do. We're just going to grab a brush. Let's see what, what occurs. No idea what I'm going to use. Um, yes, I have. Am I going to use that? I'm going to use the end one, which is on the dance floor, which is sort of a salmon pink. And I'm just going to whack that on first because it's such, oh gosh, it actually suits the peachy bronzer. Right, so very pigmented. I've never had, oh gosh, that's amazing with green eyes. Um, I've never used Marc Jacobs before, so this is a first for me. Lots of grip to the shadow, bearing in mind that I did put the bronzer on first, so it's a powder over a powder. So it's quite magnetic, it's really gripping the colour. But it's blending out quite nicely. It's not a buttery texture, but it's smoothing quite easily. Let her pull that out a bit. Mm, lovely. Right, I'm going to use some of the pigment brownie bronzy shimmer. I just, oh, and it's called Meet Ya. Meet Ya. Picks up really well onto the brush. I'm just going to pull that. That's beautiful. Now, that is a very different texture, that's very soft very creamy love that and then i'm just going to use a little bit of the taupe color here called coverts sorry it's quite bright out there we've got an air show today so we have the red arrows flying and typhoon coming over this afternoon it's a very intricate health and safety <laughs> sort of performance now because you have to they fly over the the sea but you have to have um areas clear so if there's a problem with the plane they can ditch in the water it sounds quite scary but it has to be all figured out um like that so they've got to have a lot of space I'm just going to use the taupe again under the eyes so they were practicing yesterday and then today's the day that they will fly. And we're very lucky because I don't have to go out anywhere to watch. We can see them from the house when they're flying over the sea. And they come over the house because they have a big turning circle to come back and perform. And I think I've told you before, the number of times I've been gardening and the typhoon just shot over. And I think I'd only put a fork through my foot one year. I was just taken aback by it. Even though you know it's happening, um, you sort of forget and get on with your jobs and everything. But uh, 
yeah so that's happening today Craig's sailing as well so they have a certain area where you know you can sail to and then you mustn't cross it um, but the Red Arrows and the Typhoon use the boat that Craig um, sails on because um, it's a big catch sailing catch um, they use it as a pointer in the water so uh, yeah that's happening today and it's blue skies we've had fog for a few days so it's blue skies today so it's perfect hopefully perfect and clear but when the typhoon comes over it's absolutely incredible it, the noise the boom is amazing and just seeing the red arrows the number of times i've hung out of my bedroom window and you can almost see the pilot in the cockpit it's so close so that's that's occurring this afternoon right so that's probably a bit more than i'd planned to do but oh that's gorgeous very impressed love the colors little bit of glossier and as I always say well not always but I do say quite often and I always use say on counter when you're doing somebody's makeup it's never finished till you put the mascara on because the mascara is the frame around the picture um, and it just brings everything together so I think this is Lancome So that's why I'm filming now, because there's no way I can film when the red, red arrows are going over. There we go. Oh, lovely. So for blush, I don't need a massive amount of blush. Um, I could actually leave it like that, but I'm going to use the NARS Erdem, Erdem. And I have got Loves Me Not, which is this. It's not a colour I would go for, but the lovely Jodie on Instagram. Jodie Josie? Jodie or Josie? said to me it's so beautiful over bronzer and she's right it just adds that a little bit of pink glow mauve glow to the skin without it being too much perfect then i have um, a mac lip liner in lasting sensation which is just a coral tone and because i've got a lip balm on it's not as intense slightly filling the whole lips in and then I've just been using either the fresh sugar ruby which just adds a little bit of a tint to the lips I'm not going to do that today because there's a lot of color going on with the eyes I'm going to use the glossierbalm.com and this is coconut which is clear it's a clear balm so I know I've got a balm underneath but I'm putting a balm on top clear balm but it smells of coconut and it'll just dilute the lip liner as well. Oh God, that's so good. The hair's up, it'll stay up all day because it's so warm and I just find it easier to wear my hair up. You could use, um, I find it quite easy to use Charlotte Tilbury powder in the hot weather. Um, it doesn't cake, it doesn't look obvious on the face. It's quite a flawless finish. So you could use that. Or I've obviously been using my All Nighter from Urban Decay to set my makeup if you find your makeup does move but either either works well but I'm actually going to leave it as it is because that's sitting very very nicely on the face and I do find um, that the illusion skin tint from Hourglass not a matte finish but it has a semi matte finish on the skin but uh, yeah that's a great powder to use all seasons but very useful in the summer and it is the airbrush flawless finish few people have been asking me about it yes it's a pressed powder I've never been a fan of pressed powders to be honest I've always preferred loose but this is the best I've ever used it's just as it says flawless gives a filter to the skin and it doesn't sit or accentuate anything at all beautiful powder and I've hit pan that's how much I love it and that doesn't happen often with color products you all know that right thank you for joining me I shall go and flutter my orange eyelids at people and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye for now.